What's up? It's Eric. I've got the Arma Creighton 4SV2 back out for a run number two. Uh, run number one, the Maiden Bash was amazing on this thing. I was uh, definitely impressed by the overall handling of the truck. Uh, the speed of it, I got 51 miles an hour off-road uh, with GPS, which is really quick for a uh, box stock. Uh, again, Arma has done such an amazing job on this new V2 with so many awesome changes uh, from the sway bars to the shocks uh, to the metal gears. Uh, just uh, so many little details that just makes this thing so much better. Also, the size increase with it being longer and wider, it just makes it, uh, it's almost a true eight scale size, but it's much more uh, lighter and a lot easier to work on. Parts are cheaper. So especially for uh, entry level uh, bashers, this is something you definitely want to look at. Even for the seasoned hobbyist, it's just a whole lot of fun. <laughs> Hit a bunch of metal. Nice little drift pad. Right, guys out here at my big sand spot i did go up to a 18 tooth pinion on the stock electronics i wouldn't recommend that again for general bashing dirt grass bashing i'm just out here in the street do some street rips and some high speed launches to see how this truck takes it uh, so far this thing has really impressed me and handles like it's on rails it's a very good driving truck uh, very good air control uh, even straight out of the box i was running a 15 tooth in it in the dirt i forgot to mention which is basically a sweet spot for this truck in my opinion but we're gonna give her a quick little blast on an 18 tooth and then see what's up Oh, a little side heavy there. Looks like she took it. Hey guys, this thing handles like it's on rails. Really good for not having a center diff. Wild animal, you.
All right, guys, came out to a dirt spot. I'm just gonna rip this thing around a little bit more, uh, do some freestyling off some uh, dirt hills. Uh, I did go down to a 15 tooth pinion from the 18 I had in it, uh, running in the street, doing the street launches. Uh, so far, this truck is holding up really good. Uh, the only thing is, I did get a little bit of a crack right here in the chassis uh, from doing those really high speed street launches. But guys, uh, plastic has its limitations, and when you're doing really hard, uh, really fast street launches like that off that ramp, it puts a lot of pressure on this chassis. So I put a couple of metal plates right here just to kind of help support and hold that sucker together. But so far, the overall durability of this truck has blown me away. I mean, the arms have not broken. They did put some really nice, thick, super beefy arms on here. The diffs are uh, still good. Haven't had any issues with the diffs in this truck. So again, big shout out to Arma for all these awesome upgrades. We're gonna get for another quick run and see what's up. Can't really see for all the dust. <laughs> Alright guys, I stopped to check the temps real quick. I've been running it pretty hard and it's uh 98 degrees out here today. So you got 126 on the ESC, about 130 on the motor or so. Um, I did put this Hobby Star fan up here, this aluminum cased fan, 30 millimeter. Definitely puts out a lot more wind and uh, to help keep that motor cooler. So that's not bad at all for uh, the kind of heat that I'm driving in right now. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for now. There's a bad storm rolling in. Uh, we got thunder and I've already seen some lightning and stuff. So I'm going to have to dig out of here. I'm in this big open area all by myself. So I don't want to get struck like a golfer. Anyway, a big shout out to Armin Horizon Hobby once again. This thing's an amazing truck. Had so much fun with it so far. Uh, the 15 tooth pinion again is the sweet spot in this thing just for general bashing if you want that extra little kick Looks like my little chassis mod is held up on the chassis right there with that aluminum plate But at least I held the sucker together so I can finish off bashing other than that This thing is a tank. It's uh, held together. Haven't broken anything else on it Arms are good. The uh, drivetrain is uh, held in there uh, perfectly So again big shout out to uh, Arma for their constant innovation and improving each version uh, listening to the bashers uh, that's just that's just really cool that a company is there for their customers and they want you to just go out and have a good time and bring your truck back in one piece all right guys it was a lot of fun we'll get out again soon until next time rc dude 81 peace out